Welcome sa ating pag-aaral sa Book of Acts at nandito na po tayo sa Chapter 8, uh, Lesson B. At nakita nga natin sa ating Lesson A ang progression ng pagpili ng mga apostles, the deacons, na isa nga doon si Stephen na uh, pinatay or binato ng mga officially leaders. At gano'n din naman ng uh, mga hindi tumagap sa kanya, kanyang mga kababayan, mga hudiyo. At dito naman ay nakita natin ang isa ding deacons na si Stephen. At balikan natin yung ating uh, pag-aaral sa review in, uh, in chapter 8 hanggang sa uh, verse 25. So, si Stephen and this Stephen went to Samaria to preach Christ unto them. So, pumunta si, si Philip, Philip doon sa Samaria para mag-preach kay Christ. At ganoon din naman siya ay nagkaroon doon ng mga miracles and healings no, sa mga Samaritans. At nagpagaling at nag, nanggamot siya ng mga may sakit. So, tuwang-tuwa yung mga tao doon. Pero meron din isang, uh, isang tao doon na ang pangalan niya ay Simon. So, at uh, matagal na niyang uh, biniwitch or uh, uh, tawag si Salamangka. Ginagumagamit siya ng mga Salamangka para uh, madisib ang mga tao at maniwala sa kanya. It's called also the uh, Great One. Bagamat naniwala ang mga tao kay Stephen kasi sa mga pinakita niyang uh, Sign and wonders and healings ay marami ang nampalataya, marami nagbilib at sila nga ay nabautismo. At kasama nga dito nilang nabautismo si uh, Philip, uh, si si Simon, no yung uh, isang uh, uh, sorcerer. So Stephen or P- and Philip or the early Jude are always talking about the name of Jesus which is their Messiah. So palagi po nilang na-emphasize ang name yun. At ilalang kilala nga rin ito ng uh, mga taga Samaria at especially yung uh, in John chapter 4 na kausap ni Jesus Christ. Ang Samaritan women sabi nga niya dun na alam namin na uh, sabi niya sa John 4.25, the woman said to him I know that when you see a comet which is called Christ when he is come, he will tell us his things. For this is sabi ni Jesus Christ, I am I that speak unto thee. So ngayon si Simon, sa 2018, si Simon naman ay naniwala siya at nabautismuan pa siya pero hindi siya naligtas in this part. Kasi iba ang kanyang intensyon. Ang kanyang intensyon ay magkaroon ng kapangyarihan. So nung na, nalaman ng mga apostles ay pinadala nila si Peter at si John doon para magbautismo or, or uh, naman, wala naman sinabi dito na uh, nagbautismo of the Holy Spirit but who come and pray them sila ay pinalanganinan para matanggap nila ang banal na Espiritu so they lay their hands on them and they receive the uh, Holy Ghost so bakit nila na-receive itong Holy Ghost na ito it is also uh, sinabi ni Jesus Christ sa Mark chapter uh, 16 na sabi niya uh, kung sino na yung manampalataya He that believe it and is baptized shall be saved and he that believe it shall be damned. At sa yung nanampalataya daw sa pangalan ni Cristo, especially in the in the Jewish part kasi itong Samar- Samaritan nito, they are crossbred that's why they are still counted as a Jew. Ay nagkaroon sila ng kapangyarihan ng banal na espiritu because it is required for them, no? Required for them. The 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 Jews required for a sign, but Greeks required for the is damned. Pero nang nakita ito ni Simon ay nag-offer nga si Simon ng money, yung, yung salamangkero, yung sorcery, nag-offer siya ng money para mabigyan din siya ng kapangyarihan na makapagbigay ng Holy Ghost. Pero sabi ni Peter, ay hindi pipwede. Sabi niya, but the, the money perish thee because thou hast thought that the gift of God purchase with money. Sabi niya, hindi pipwede kasi hindi sa pamamagitan ng pera ang pagbili ng kapangyarihan or ang, 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 uh, uh, the gift of God na sinasabi. Kaya sabi nga niya dyan na ang iyong puso ay hindi uh, tama. Uh, but we know that the heart of man is a very deceitful and all the conscious. Bagamat kung sa pamagitan ng tama ang iyong puso, tamang pagkaka-understand, ay ito rin ang makakapagbigay ng tamang kaligtasan kasi nagagaling sa puso ang tamang pananam palataya. The puso is whole, the, 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 the humanity whole his conscience, yan po tinatawag, or the soul that is po tinatawag na puso. There is two always. Merong bad heart and good heart. So if you have a good heart, then it's proceeded good. But if you have a bad heart or a bad life, it's proceeded 
bad. Okay, so sabi ni Peter ay mag-repent ka. Ah, baka maka, ma, mapatawad ka pa. So sabi niya, uh, humingi siya ng kapatawaran at nagsumamo siya na uh, ipagdasal siya rin sa Panginoon itong si Simon na ito. So nung natapos ito ay bumalik na sila ulit sa uh, Jerusalem. Bumalik si Pedro kasama si na Philip sa uh, Jerusalem. So in biblical timeline and history, meron tayong tinatawag na early church at meron tayong tinatawag that the Gentile church later on. So in, in the book of Acts, is nagsimula po ang church or the body of Christ, they are pure Jewish people. No? Meron tayong tinakikita doon, uh, proselyte at meron tayong tinatawag doon na sa, sa chapter 5 uh, or chapter 6 na sila ay mga Grecians, they are almost uh, proselytes or they are uh, tinatawag ng uh, uh, Hebrews, uh, Greek speaking Hebrews or the Hellenistic uh, uh, Hellenistic Hebrews. That's why all there is proselytes in early book of Acts. That's why our doctrine, we cannot directly get from the early book of Acts because they have a different ministry and different doctrine of the apostles or tinatawag na apostles doctrine. Napag-aralan nga natin yon sa ating mga previous na mga uh, pag-aaral. And also, they have a different kind of preaching of the gospel which is the gospel of who? Kung sino si Christo. They are explaining always that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. No, Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Jesus is the Christ. Christ means anointed or itinalaga. So si Philip, ito ang kanyang pinrich. pinrich. Ito ang kanyang uh, uh, itinuro. Ganun din naman si Apostle Paul, nung siya ay nagsimula, even, even Jesus Christ, he tell to Ananias na i-preach ang kanyang pangalan. Why he tell that Ananias i-preach ang kanyang pangalan? Pero uh, dahil meron pa siyang i-reveal later on kay Apostle Paul about the Gentiles and Ananias is a, G, uh, is a Jew at kailangan niyang uh, kailangan maisabi ni Jesus Christ that uh, he will preach in my name he will preach that I am the anointed one so that Ananias will understand and he will uh, also uh, magkaroon siya ng belief na si, si Apostle Paul ay uh, selected by God already Okay, who is Jesus? Jesus Christ is always telling the name, the name of Jesus, the name of the Savior or Yeshua. He is the Christ. He is the Anointed One. He is the Messiah. That is all the early book of Acts, all the ministry of the Apostle. They are preaching who Jesus is, who Jesus is. Kasi kung naniwala sila sa time na yon, so possible na babalik na yung nakatayo na Jesus Christ or uh, He is ready to judge Israel at that time ay because he will come back as magre-reign but hindi pa yun naganap kasi he will reign later on in the millennial kingdom. So in Matthew pa lang sabi niya and he shall bring forth the son and he shall call his name uh, Jesus for he shall save his people. So sino ba itong mga tao ni Jesus Christ? He shall save Israel. No? He shall save his people from their sins. Kaya nalaman niya natin sa Romans 11 dahil sa katigasan nila di reject the, 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 the symbol of the Father which is John, the symbol of the Son which is Jesus Christ, and the symbol of the Spirit which is the Apostles. Kaya pumunta sa atin ng mga Gentile. Kaya sabi nga 16, they are emphasizing in the name of Jesus and this son shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast evil and they shall uh, uh, speak with new tongues. Acts chapter 2 verse 2 and it shall come to pass whatsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved because it is prophesied to them. So, Peter then sa 2.38, Repent and be baptized everyone on you in the name of Jesus Christ. Kinumplito niya dito, Jesus the Savior and the Christ is the uh, anointed one for the remission of sins. Acts chapter 4 verse 18, They called and commanded not to speak at all nor to teach, teach in the name of Jesus. So they are teaching always the name of Jesus, the name of the Messiah in the early book of Acts. At ganun din naman kay uh, Philip, yung uh, tinu tinuro niya doon sa Samaritan, uh, sa Samaria, is he is preaching the concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 9, ito yung pasimula kay Paul. But the Lord said, Go thy way, and I have chosen Basil unto me to bear my name before the before to bear my name before the Gentiles for the king is there. So Jesus uh, si Jesus Christ ito nag explain kay Ananias na mag bear siya sa 
aking pangalan. Bakit niya nasabi? Bakit hindi yung kanyang kamatayan? Kasi later on, and I will show him a great things that he must suffer in my name's sake. Bakit inipasahin Jesus Christ ito name? Because uh, yun ang kanilang pagkaka-understand that the name of Christ is the, 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 the Savior or the Anointed One itong sa early uh, book of Acts na ito. Kaya nagsimula si Paul nga dito sa 9, sa next natin na chapter, he goes to the Jew and he proved that the name of Jesus Christ is their Messiah. And later on, later on, ay uh, nagkaroon ng mga changes because this Acts is the called the transitional book. If, if hindi mo maintindihan itong Acts na ito kung hindi mo maintindihan the transition. The transition here is from Jewish to Gentile, from from the nation of Israel to church. So the Paul is speaking by the mystery and the revelation of the gospel of sinasabi niyang my gospel of what Jesus Done. Ano daw ang nagawa ni Kristo kaya? Ang gospel natin ngayon bilang mga Gentiles ay hindi ka masasave doon who Jesus Christ is because it's not your anointed one, it's not your Messiah, but He is your Savior because what He have done. He have buried, no, he, have, he, uh, he have death, suffering sa cross, siya ay namatay at pagkatapos ng tatlong araw, siya ay nabuhay na nga muli. So, Ito ay misteryo na inaipinakita lamang kay Apostle Paul. Ito ay revelation and it is all by grace. In in the in the early book of Acts, they have two or or in the law, they have too much works to do. Kaya nga babalik siya in in the time of uh, Hebrews and in the time of James, he will explain again to the Hebrews that they need the good works or the faith is the substance of the good work. But pero sabi ni Pablo, faith is faith and if it is their works there is faith because it's different tribulation ang ipinakita ng, ng Jesus Christ kay Paul which is the gospel of what Jesus did. Ayun nga si kayo, this is the gospel of Paul. Hindi tayo maligtas ngayon sa pumagitan ng another gospel or magsasabing okay, uh, this is the gospel of uh, the apostles. no? Especially Paul is apostle but there is some kind of gospel that revealed to him that this is the gospel for the Gentile. Sabi nga niya sa Romans chapter 2 verse 16, And when the day, in the day when God shall judge the secret of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. So mayroong gospel si Paul na kakaiba doon sa early book of charts. At ito nga ang transition from time to time na ating makikita dito sa box of Acts na ito. Romans chapter 16 verse 25, Now unto him that is the power established according to my gospel. Ano daw gospel niya? And the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which keep secret since the world began. Because ang time natin ngayon, ang, 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 ang ating panahon ngayon, which the age of grace is not show in 70 uh, week of Daniel. It is inserted from the 69 week up to the 70 week. Uh, we, but uh, we don't uh, have time to study its Christology or the end times. That's why we are only posing in the history of the church. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 2, and I went up revelation. I went up by revelation and communicate unto them that the gospel which I preached among the Gentiles. Sabi niya, iba ang gospel na aking pinilis Gentile. But privately to them which were repetition list by any man that I should run and I had run in when he have the gospel of the mystery or the gospel of revelation that he is preaching to the Gentile. That's why, nung, nung uh, uh, last na mga book ni Paul na sinulat niya in 2 Timothy, sabi niya, you will understand if you follow my gospel. Ito yung sinasabi ni Apostle Paul. Rightly divided the word of truth. No? In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7, consider I say that the Lord give me now, consider what I said, and the Lord give the understanding of all things. Kaya malinaw na malinaw, pag rightly divided ang, ang uh, Bible, buong Biblia, especially the book of Acts, kasi there are different kind of, there is transition from time to time, the dispensation of God according how He deal with the generations or the human beings. Sabi nga niya sa 2.8, Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead, according to my gospel. So ito po ang sabi ni Apostle Paul, sabi nga niya sa 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse, verse 1 to 4 that Jesus Christ died, uh, died buried and resurrected. So that is the gospel of Paul. Meron pong pagkakaiba from time to time. Time to time there is the trans 
session. Kaya the apostles, they are preaching who Jesus is. The, the Stephen and the Philip is preaching who Jesus is. And also Apostle Paul in the first time or the first na pasimula ng kanyang ministry, he preached to the Jew who Jesus is. But from time to time, ginawang porsyado. No? So, so makalalaman natin dito in 26, there is porsyado that it will be changed or mayroong transition to the gospel which is the anointed or tinatawing the anointed blood na pinakita nga dito that the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God, the offering will be known. So si Peter... Si, si Peter, si Philip, do we cannot hear that Jesus Christ offered himself, Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God in the early book of Acts up to this chapter of chapter 8. But this time in chapter 8, the panahon niyo na ay nagsimulang foreshadow that later on may be preached the anointed or, or uh, the, the blood sacrifice or the Lamb of God na ipapakita, i-reveal ng Diyos later on kay Apostle Paul. Kaya napakaganda po gradually na nangyari sa history in the book of Acts according by the, the power of the Holy Spirit na ipapaintindi uh, niya sa atin how the church grow and how the church come unto this time to the Gentile. So nasa Jerusalem bumalik si, uh, si, is, uh, si Philip at sinabi sa kanya, and the angel of the Lord is speak to Philip saying, arise. So nakita po natin ito si Philip. Ito po napaka- uh, Uh, active na missionary from time to time he travel kung anong anong uh, anong sinabi ng Dios he go there at uh, he don't even to complain or or, or wala kang nakita dito hang, at, at, until such time na nandoon nga siya nakita uli natin sa um, uh, Acts chapter 21 or uh, 22 now and the angel of the lord speaking to Philip and arise and go toward the south sabi niya pumunta ka doon sa south galing siya sa uh, Israel Sabi niya, in this uh, south, or go it down to Jerusalem in the desert, or in Gaza. And arose, and and went, and arose, and he arose and went, behold, a utopian, sabi niya, mayroon ditong utopian, maitim na tao, is not a Jew, is not a Jew, but he embraced the, uh, the, 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 the faith of the Jew, that's why it's called proselyte. So ito po ay isang proselyte. And A great eunuch, isa po siyang Unico. What is Unico? Unico po ay, ay uh, in history, ay ito po ang mga nangangalaga sa babae na royal blood. Ito po sila ay kinapon. No? Tinanggal po sila, tinanggal po ang kanilang uh, uh, testicles para hindi sila makagambala or hindi nila ma-rape ang any other royal blood. They are called eunuch. And the great authority of the Candice the Queen. Isa siyang authority ni Candice the Queen. Isa siyang advisor, isa siyang eunuch na tinatawag. Who had charged all the treasure? So, siya ang tinalaga ng, ng queen ng Utopia, Utopia which is Africa, which is this black people na mga laga sa lahat ng ari-arian ng queen. Pero, come to Jerusalem for worship because he is a Jew, he is converted to the Jewish religion and if you converted to the Jewish religion at that time, you must go three times a year na mag-worship doon sa temple ng mga Hodio and he is rich ma, 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 mayaman itong tao na ito. When he's returning sitting in his chariot, he read the Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah. So Isaiah ito, ito po si Isaiah, no? In in the Greek word he called Isaiah, but in the Hebrew Isaiah. So the prophet. So galing ng Jerusalem ay pumunta si si Philip doon sa uh, Gaza. para ma- ma- masundan niya itong tao na ito at itong tao itong tao nito yung yunok nito habang siya ay naglalak habang siya ay naglalakbay sa kahit sakay ng kanyang uh, uh, chariot or karwahe na may kabayo ay nagbabasya siya ng uh, scripture the book of Isaiah chapter 53 so until now there are many synagogue or the, there are many Jewish people that is called this uh, 53 the hidden or the secret kasi hindi nila ito pinapa Basa. It is true because it prophesies in the Romans chapter 11 that they are blinded in part. So, hindi nila pwede, kasi kung mabasa nila ito, they will know, they will understand that Jesus Christ is their Messiah because of what happened unto uh, Christ. But hindi nila ito uh, binabasa or pinagbabawalan silang basahin nila ito. And the angel of the Lord speak to Peter saying, Arise and go toward the south and Jerusalem and go to the uh, Gaza. So, pumunta si Philip doon. So sabi niya, 
Nung nasa gasa na siya, nakita niya yung chariot na doon na, sabi niya, go to near. Sabi niya, lumapit ka doon sa kanya. So, nakita natin dito, napaka-active ni Philip. Nung, nung sinabi ng, ng ano nito, sinabi ng Holy Spirit sa kanya sa 30, and Philip ran tied there to them. So, tumakbo si Philip, grabe na mananampalataya ito. Napaka-active niya. Tumakbo siya, tumakbo siya doon sa uh, tumakbo siya doon sa malapit ng chariot. So, ang chariot po, hindi po yan siguro, o siguro pinaka ma, ma, matakbo niya siguro. Baga, 30 kilometers per hour, pero mabilis din po yun. So, sa pagtakbo, so, tumakbo si Uh, Philip doon at narinig nga niya doon habang nagbabasa so habang nagbabasa hindi siya nag silent reading habang nagbabasa uh, itong yunok na ito read the prophet Isaiah as, tapos uh, sinabihan niya habang naglalakad siya sinabihan niya naintindihan mo ba ang yung binabasa sabi niya and he said sabi nung yunok how can I how can I sabi niya baano bakit ko paano ko ito maintindihan except some should guide me and desired Philip that he would come up and sit after Him. So marami po ngayon, marami pong nagmimimurai sa Word of God, marami pong nag-elaborate sa Word of God, but they still not understand. So marami din po, even uh, mayroong mga, uh, mga mananampalataya that they only reading or they're singing their scripture na sinasawag or kanilambok, but still they don't understand. Because understanding of the Word of God is you must first uh, have na mayroong kang tamang spirito at mayroong kang tinatawag rightly divided the word of truth. So, nung, nung sinabi niya na, na may magpapaliwanag, and he said, how can I, I, o paano ko maintindihan, except na lang kung mayroong magpapaliwanag sa amin. And he desired, sabi niya, ikaw, sabi niya, uh, pumunta ka dito, tumupo ka dito sa aking uh, chariot. So, pinaliwanag ni Peter sa kanya, uh, ni Philip sa kanya, and the place of the scripture was read was this, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter. Sabi niya, he was led as sheep to the Uh, slaughter. So, basahin natin sa Tagalog. Basahin natin sa Tagalog. And the place of the scripture. At sa dakong kasulatan na binasa niya siya gaya ng tupa na dinala sa patayan at kung paanong hindi umimik ang kordero sa harapan ay nanggug, nang, nanggugupit sa kanya. Gayun din naman niya binuka ang kanyang mga labi. So, so 33. Sa 33. Nang siya ay nagkikipag pagkakababay, inalis niya ang paghukom at sino mang maghahayag na kanyang lahi sapagkat inalis ng lupa ng kanyang bayan. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, Pray they whom they speak it. Sabi niya, uh, sumamo ako sa, sa iyo na sino ba itong uh, sinasabi nitong propeta o pinag-usapan ditong or uh, ini-explain dito na propeta niya na kasi sa buong acts na yan, kung binasa na yan, In 53, nandito na ito siya banda sa 7 and 8. So, nung, mula pa nung hindi siya inabutan ni Philip, ay nabasa na niya ang simula ng verse 1 nun. So, basahin natin ang Isaiah 53 hanggang doon sa dumating siya doon. Who hath believed our report and whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Sabi niya, sino daw maniniwala nito kung saan daw ang uh, arm, ang, ang uh, kamay ng Panginoon ni Rebel? O sino daw? Saan daw ni-reveal ang kamay ng Panginoon? In the Jerusalem, in the, in the Jewish people. For he shall go, grow up before him a tender plant as a root of the dry ground, that no man comeliness and we shall see him, there is no beauty to desire. Meron daw tutubo na wala siyang tender plant, wala siyang, uh, especially hindi siya sa, sa mayaman pamilya or royal blood or mayaman as very tender plant. So, nakatira sa dry ground or... Uh, or uh, an very normal or 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 pobre na na pamamimilya at kung makikita siya ay wala siyang kaporma-porma wala there is no beauty hindi siya uh, wala siyang uh, subject to desire no hindi siya guwapo or wala siyang beauty kaya nga he despised and rejected of men din discriminate siya A man of sorrow. So palagi siyang nung nung ano nga siya, palagi siyang umiiyak, no? Umiiyak siya, tumatangis siya. And he was acquainted with grief. Patuloy maraming sakit, maraming uh, na, napagdaanan niyang hirap. And when our faces what is him despite and not esteem him. Okay, so for ten surely he hath borne on our griefs and carried our sorrows. Sabi niya, siya ang magdadala ng ating kapag kapighatian. And he was stricken. Siya ay ay uh, uh, papaluin, mapaparusahan dahil sa atin. 
Siya ay masusugatan, but he was wounded to our transition and he was bruised when iniquities. Sabi niya, dahil sa kasalanan, kaya mangyari sa kanya maghirap-hirap. Pero siya, oh, dahil tayo ay mga tupa ng Diyos na nagkawatak-watak. Sabi niya, and the Lord led in equity at siya ang ginawang hain, tupa para sa atin. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Oh, ito na yung naabutan ni Philip sa kanya na binasa. So he was, will be the offering of the God to the iniquity of the Jewish people. So, 32. When Philip opened his mouth, nung, nung in-explain na ni Philip ito, na sino ito, ito si Jesus Christ, ito yung napako, ganyan, lumabas na. Ang nangyari niya niya, and began the sin scripture preached unto him, Jesus. And when he went their way, he come the certain water. So nung, nung pinris na ni Philip na ito, ay siya ay nanampalataya kaagad ang yunok. Kaya sabi nga niya, nagpabautismo si Jesus Christ, they are preaching the baptism of John. And they're preaching the name of, uh, uh, of uh, tawag dito. Inelaborate niya si Jesus Christ dito sa lahat na nangyari that He is the Messiah. He is the one anointed Savior. Kaya nga, nung, nung dumating ang tubig, sabi niya, so ito pala yung first step na nang ginawa ni Jesus Christ. So why I will not do it? And when He was uh, went away, there come a certain water. So meron siyang tubig. It's, it's siguro uh, dagat or, uh, or uh, sa, sapa sa lugar na yan. But in Gaza, there is dagat. So, hindi natin alam. But it, it is a water, no? He said, there is water. Who hindered me to baptize? Sabi niya, sino bang magpipigil sa akin para magbautismo? Pero sabi ni Philip sa kanya, If thou, oh, Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest, sabi niya, kung ikaw ay nanampalataya buong-buo sa iyong puso, ay, ikaw ay pipiling mabautismohan. So, hindi kagaya nung kay Simon, Nung, nung magisya, nung sorcery na nagpabautismo siya, nagbilib siya pero he, do, he is not saved kasi nga hindi siya nanampalataya sa kanyang puso, nanampalataya siya sa kanyang isipan at iba ang kanyang intention. So anong sabi ng eunuch? I believe that Jesus was the son of God. Sabi niya, nanampalataya ko na si Kristo ay anak ng Diyos. He is the Christ, he is the anointed one and he is the Savior. And when he come out of the water, so niloblob sila so hindi siya winisikan ni 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 Philip kung hindi siya ay nalubog talaga sa to baby because it's the symbol the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ that is the baptism and we come out of the water the Lord caught caught uh, Philip away so nung lumabas sila sa tubig ay dinala siya parang nagwarp ito si Philip na ito at dinala siya ng espiritu pero itong yunog na ito na klaro sa kanya malinaw sa kanya magkaroon siya ng pananampalataya but we have a different kind of things here. Ano nangyari? Kita natin. Unang-una, itong si Yunok na ito ay hindi siya nakatanggap ng banal na spirit. Oh, hindi siya na-filled. Na no, he have a, a Holy Spirit but hindi siya final. Hindi na kailangan ni na Pedro at ni Peter na i-filled siya to the Holy Spirit para magkaroon siya ng sign of wonders. Why? Because he will preach this word. He will witnessing. Hindi sa mga Hudiyo, kung hindi mag-witness siya doon sa mga Gentile, doon sa Utopia in those time. Kaya mayroon siyang mga transition. Kaya nga, nung, nung uh, natapos yon si Philip na naman ay pumunta sa Asotos, no, sa Koplang Cesarea hanggang makarating siya sa Cesarea. So nakita natin, it is foreshadowing that it is very different thing will make deep, uh, later on. So pag nagbilib ka, Naligtas ka na and no need anymore na magkaroon pa ng sign of wonder because pupunta na ang kaligtasan or, or uh, it will reveal to Apostle Paul the salvation to the Gentile kasi ang Gentile ay mga ngailangan sila ng wisdom, elaboration kaya nga naging complete ang book. Hindi na sila nangangailangan pa later on ng sign and wonders because the sign and wonders is only to do that they will have attention at makikinig sila sa gospel but still they reject Jesus Christ. And the next part ng ating uh, 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 chapter will be Apostle Paul. So napakaganda po ng uh, pagsimula ng Apostle Paul. The book of Acts, it is divisible by 7. From 1 to 7 is 7, no? And the 7 to 
to to 14, 14 to 21 and 21 to 28. It is all seven. It is all complete. So napakabuti po ng Panginoon, the, the our original scholars ng uh, ng ating uh, mga Biblia, the scholars that they have faith. Marami pong mga Bible scholar sa 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 mundong ito that they are still lost o hindi sila nanampalataya and they are destroying, destroying the Bible especially po sa mga translation especially sa faith from time to time they depending on their knowledge na may pakita nila na sila ay maraming alam but they don't have the focus the focus is to share the gospel which is the the, the whole gospel kung uh, the, the, what gospel anong ginawa ni Jesus Christ para sa atin at dumami ng dumami the fullness of the Gentiles will come at, at magkaroon tayo ng pundo, magkaroon tayo ng mga resources para tayo ay babalik sa Israel from stammering lips sa, sa hindi nakakilala nilang mga lingwahe, sa kakaiba mga lingwahe. We explain that the suffering of Jesus Christ according to your scripture in Isaiah chapter 53, ayan po ang inyong misaya. At that time, magkaroon tayo ng kagalakan at magkakaroon lang nga ulit ng, ng, ng rapture. And they will return to Jesus Christ. Magpapakilala ang Diyos sa kanila bagamat hindi ganun kadali. They will have a super tribulation, seven years tribulation at magbabalik ni Jesus Christ ulit. Kasakasama tayo in the millennial kingdom. So God bless po sa atin lahat. Hope we will continue in the next lesson in Acts chapter 9.